All right, everybody. Uh, brand new here. Uh, I'm going to play some subsistence today and uh, try to do a little tutorial. I know there's some really good ones out there, but uh, basically my kids are looking into getting into streaming, and uh, I thought I would try out a few things and see what settings we need in our computer, and this is a game I like to play, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start normal mode. Uh, we're going to go... Uh, normal revenge attacks. We'll just do uh, revenge attacks for now. And for month starting, you don't want to start in January because it's winter. This game is pretty tough. You want to give yourself enough time to prepare for winter. So let's go. Whew, we can do April. It's still pretty chilly in April. Yeah. Yeah, let's do April. And then we'll do. I, I, I've always done 60. Seems to work. Uh oh. I click start loading. Start a new game. Let's do it. So there's a few things you need to do right from the start. Obviously, you're going to need some wood and materials to create a shelter. But shelter is number one. Day one, you need shelter. Oh, there's a chest right off the bat. And this is a construction chest. So inside of these, you get nails and stuff. Eh, except this one I didn't get any. <laughs> okay. Um, so we start off with, you got your 9 mil, you got your ammo, you have matches for your first fire, um, you got your bandages, a piece of fruit. Um, down here you have your proteins and your fruits and vegetables and your water. Um, and we have a canteen. We have, you know, a couple little materials, no big deal. So, as this game, I'm not sure what to call it. I guess it's very... You grind a lot in this game, um, but the grinding's not not bad. It's kind of exciting um, because you're always there's animals everywhere. Look, there's a bear. There's another bear that was over there. So you're always you're always you have to be aware all the time. Otherwise, you're gonna die. So right now we're just looking for wood. Okay, you see that that bar, that health bar right there. It says 30. So 30 means a rabbit. Except we can't catch a rabbit right now. Because uh, all we have is our gun. And when you shoot this small game with your with your gun, it, uh, it destroys the meat. So we're going to keep going around, grabbing chests. These construction chests are usually the ones that, that have nails. There we go. We need nails to build our shelter. Day one, you need your shelter. Uh, you need food and uh, a fire, you know, the basics of survival. What I like to do, I like to run. And when my when I see my uh, bottom right of my screen there, when you see the stamina start to go down, that's when I stop and chop a tree and let that stamina rebuild. Otherwise, you're, you you can you'll be moving uh, moving three feet and chopping a tree. Oh, here we go, guys! Oh, wow, ah, wolf! Now you can outrun wolves. You can outrun bears. Um, I've outran a cougar once. I don't know if I got lucky, but I've never outrun a moose <laughs> unless unless I've gotten in, onto a rock or in some sort of shelter that it couldn't follow. But generally, if you can get on something like a rock, it can get on that too. Now, I, I missed the, the warning. The animals give you warnings when you get too close. And because I'm talking, I, I just I missed the warning. I'm talking loud, too, to talk over the uh, talk over the noise of the game. Okay, so this is what I was saying over there. There was a grub tree over there. Mm, yeah, you can still kind of see it, but there's a lot of wolves over there. So let's look at this grub tree. There, this tree here, right in front of us, that's a big tree. I think that's four hits maybe but that grub tree there it's much thicker um it gives you six wood so you have to go through six of those uh chopping cycles and at the end it gives you a grub and the grubs are key at the beginning of the game because you need them to fish and fishing is primarily how i get my food this early because i don't have a bow to hunt small game or anything so when i build this first shelter I do it near uh, a body of water. Uh, there's a couple that I prefer. 
there's the big lakes, of course, that everybody builds at. Uh, I like to be a little bit different. So I go to the small lakes, and I've never noticed a difference between what I catch. Like sometimes I'll catch three fish in a row in the small lakes, and they'll all be big. And then in the big lakes, I'll catch three fish in a row, and they're all small. See that? Another grub tree. So we're going to get as many of those as possible without being eaten here. So now I recognize where we are. We're on this, this the northern, the big lake. This is the one that most people build at, and there's for good reason. There's lots of loot around here. Um, it's very pretty scenery, uh, great sunrises and sunsets. I tend to build where there's nice views. I don't. I, I like. I, I know it doesn't look great on my on the recording because I had to turn some settings down. I'm running an old uh, GTX 1070. It's okay. I mean get these crates there's some kelp in the water behind me i'll get in a second i just don't want these crates to despawn you'll see them pop up and disappear right in front of you so when you see something good you got to go for it um I, i'd rather lose a piece of kelp than crate so kelp is pretty important later in the game for not later early in the game too but for different things i think antidotes and a few things but um right now early in the game i just use them to eat it doesn't give you much fruit and vegetables but there you go at the tip of my axe there you can hear in wolf i'm gonna get out of here but at the tip of my axe there there was a um another grub tree so these other things that i'm picking up the fibers let's see if i can get a, make sure i'm far enough away from this wolf to stop talking see i can't get that one it's too close to the wolf but there's a piece of fiber right in front of it too that uh that you need in order to build rope and you need rope to build your shelter so just to kind of quickly go over the important things at the beginning shelter um, some sort of food water and fire uh, in order to build that you need wood you need nails and you need rope so right now we're doing okay for wood woods easy you can get wood anytime you want I'll actually so 28 wood what I'll do is I'll start building some wood planks right now so that they're ready to go when I'm ready to build my shelter so that we're not standing there freezing cold at night and uh, you, you don't need a shelter to build a fire you can just build it on the ground but then you're not protected by wolves or anything shelter doesn't stop stop bears unless you have walls so I'm moving away from the big lake probably shouldn't it's such good loot around there but there's another small lake over here that I like to use early in the game just for my initial shelter. It's not where I'll build my base. And that is, uh, it's, it's a small lake set pretty low altitude, elevation. You'll see on top left it has the, the temperature. And as I go higher and lower, it will change. Uh, so lower, the, it'll get warmer. Higher gets colder, right? Getting lots of lots of crates. It's good. Got a lot of nails already. So we're gonna build some uh, craft some rope too, some cordage. I don't have a lot of cordage right now. I I I've been I haven't been paying much attention to that. I've been more looking for crates. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled a little bit more for cordage. What I like to do when I'm chopping a tree. I'll slowly move around that tree. Hopefully it'll make you guys dizzy, especially if it's laggy. Um, so I can see in the distance what's going on. So maybe I'll see a crate. Maybe I'll see uh, fibers. Or maybe I'll see a wolf or a bear that's too close. So I'll just run in a different direction. Nothing like uh, coming around a tree to uh, being... If you're not paying attention, you don't hear the wolf or the bear. Another thing that's important to get is scrap metal, which we'll, we'll find as we go here. Here's a piece of scrap metal. I think I've already picked up a couple, but you don't need it right away. Uh, but you'll need it for things like pickaxes and pretty much anything big you build. All right, another crate. But this here is the pond that I'm talking about. You got a nice little kind of safe area platform here. Fishing's always been good to me here. Oh, and in the water we have a pearl. We don't need that right now, but I'm, I'm going to grab it because it's there. 
Okay. Come on, baby, get out. The, the only thing that I don't like about this game is getting out of water. Well, there's maybe a couple things, but it's just something that's always been a struggle for me. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll build a platform. We're not in a hurry to do that. I just, I'm here. I'll set up the platform real quick, get some stuff out of my inventory. Maybe I won't circle the tree like that with you guys watching just because I'm, I'm not comfortable with how it looks. I'll give you another little tip here. when you Before you go into a body of water like this, have a little peek around to make sure there's no wolves or bears around the, the edge. Because there's nothing like coming up to a wolf or a bear chasing you into the water. You can't outrun them in the water. You can outrun them on land. You cannot outrun them in the water. Keep an eye on your O2 bar, your oxygen bar at the top there. All right, so we're going to put down our platform. Um, so basically, you need your base. Eh, I like, I just like mine going sideways. You, you're going to need your base. Make sure it's low enough that you can jump onto. And you need a uh, roof. Because if it rains, you won't be able to have a fire. Let's see if we can build a fire yet. Uh, we need a couple sticks. So when you build one stick, it makes two. There we go. And craft a fireplace. Anyway, we don't need to do this now. I'm getting sidetracked here. What we need to be doing right away is farming, farming, farming. It's a little tedious, but it's rewarding. And I, I don't know why I don't get bored of it. There's a deer. We can't get them right now. You can hit a deer with a 9 mil. We just don't have enough ammo. And maybe somebody else has, but I certainly have not one shot a, a deer with a 9 mil. I usually shoot it in the back like six times. <laughs> so you shoot it once, it runs away. You run, you catch it again, and you shoot it in the back again. I, I, I struggle with headshots. Oh, bear. So as my my uh, resources get down, my my food and my water get down, my stamina starts to to build slower and slower. So be really aware of that. You never want to be low on stamina and come across a bear or a wolf. Oh, look at all the chests over here, the crate and chest. That second thing that we got there, that was a right here a um, what is it? Medical herb, medicinal herb. Uh, oh man, there's a couple crates over here, and I think they despawned. Boo. That becomes important later too, but I find I, I always have way more of them than what I ever need. I, I've never had a shortage of those guys. Now that chicken we can catch, but do we have the stamina to catch it? Here, I'll eat some stuff. I'm not going to eat my, my tree grubs. They give you a little bit of protein. In my opinion, it's not enough to make a difference. I guess I have got some berry trees. It's not enough to make a difference. So a chicken you can catch uh, by foot, except he's running towards two bear. I think I'm going to risk it out. You know what? This is dumb. This is why people die in this game. By people, I mean me. <laughs> I'm just going to... That bear sounds angry. Let's not play with bears when we don't have any guns or hardly any stamina. <laughs> Let's go back to farming. Keep it simple. Okay, so uh, we got some more wood. I'm going to create some more planks. Okay, there's a crate, and then there's also some scrap metal. Going for the crate because I need as many nails as I can get right now. For the first little bit of the game, all the building, you just need that nails. You don't need scrap metal. You need nails. I'll go a few days. Here we go. That's blueberries. Um, I'm not sure if blueberries are seasonal. A lot of the fruit fruits and vegetables are. Uh, you can get strawberries and stuff, but only during the summer, I think. Uh 
there's cotton. I know that's not a fruit or vegetable, but that's something that grows. And you need that to prepare for winter. Basically, all we're doing right now is to be able to survive the night and prepare for winter. <laughs> that's, that's how hard winter is in this game. Because if you don't, if you're not prepared, you will not survive. Maybe you have enough wood to huddle around your fire for, for the entire of the winter. But if you don't have food, let's see if we can get this guy. Can I? I can go up this rock. Got some arrows and some rifle rounds, except that we don't have a rifle. We won't have that for a little while still. I'm going to play this a little slower than normal so I can uh, show you folks what to do. But I like to... I, I do play these... I tend to play these games a little slower than most people, I would think. Um, I like to spend a few days to have enough material to get a decent base going. And uh, we enabled hunters for revenge attacks... But if you get too close to them, they're going to attack you anyway. But I don't think hunters come until you start your BCU, which is right here, base command unit. Once you create that, that's when hunters start spawning. Maybe a day or two after, I'm not sure. I could probably Google it. More nails. I like it. Would have been nice to catch a chicken. Oh, wolves, bears, man. Hear that wolf growl? He is not happy. And I'm not about to fight a wolf with, a, with an axe. Oh, and another bear. Oh, my goodness. I missed that. These animals. Oh, and another bear. Oh, baby. You guys might see me die day one. <laughs> Let's see if... Uh, I might have to play this a little safer. Running around like crazy. Try to pick up some fibers while I'm at it. Oh, look at that stamina. She's getting low. Oh, and I see a good crate. I'm going to head that way. I should lose the bear in time. Even though I had low protein. I might actually find some protein bars. That'd be lucky. Oh, what do we got going on here? Okay, so let's get some fishing tackle. So we need... Oh, I need to chop some trees. We're going to need a fishing rod. Oh, I need to chop some trees. Let's do that. Let's do that while looking for crates. Sorry if that's loud. You know what? I could probably, I could probably change it. This is why I'm... Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is to, to get everything ready for the boys. Oh, I don't know if you saw that little explosion there. That was a iron, or not iron, zinc, or whatever, the metal deposit despawning. A little more exciting than watching a chest despawn. Chest just disappears. Wolves. Man, there's animals everywhere. I farm down here a lot, and I don't, I don't remember seeing this many animals. See how I move around the tree? One of the reasons why I like this area is because uh, you can see so far. I mean, you obviously can around the big lakes too because it's very flat. But like I said before, I like to I like to do things a little different just so it's it's mine, you know. It's, it's my world. I'm not just copying somebody else's world. Keep in mind uh, to watch out for those grub trees. Right now we only have two grub, which means we can only make two pieces of fishing tackle. Which isn't a lot of fish, especially if we get two small ones. That will only, that will barely get us back up to, uh, back into the green, I think. Two small fish. All right. Here's something else. See this locked chest right here? You're always looking for these when you're playing. When you, when you get a key... When you don't have a key, that's when you're going to find them everywhere. They're hard to find otherwise. Let's see if we can catch this chicken. Oh, that was easy. Normally, it's not that easy. Normally, chase them for a little bit. It's nice if you can sandwich them against a rock or a body of water that they have to kind of stop and turn around. Because then you can close that distance really quick. Our protein must be really low because our, 
our stamina is not building back up here. Let's eat some more. Okay, so we're going to get a couple more sticks. I need a fishing rod too. There we go, fishing rod coming. We need more wood. We don't. We don't have much wood. Oh, I hear a growl. There's a wolf just right there. I don't know if that was him growling or if that was just my imagination, but... Oh, there's a bear. And he's on us. I bet it was that bear that was growling, not the wolf. Another bear. Jeez. They are not making it easy for me. Now, remember I said platforms don't protect you from bears? They will from wolves. If I step on my platform, the wolf will stop chasing you. So right now, I don't have enough stamina to run a wolf, but I can get to my platform, I think. Let's try it. I just need to get away from that bear. Oh, man, this is going to be sketchy. Come on, baby. Get there. Get there. Okay, he stopped chasing me. <laughs> okay, when you're near the water, you just get down low, refill your canteen. You cannot drink that water now. It may not make you sick, but it almost always makes me sick. Okay, let's get a fire place going. More sticks. If we can cook that chicken, we can get ourselves a little bit of meat in us just to help run around a little bit more. Because we'll still be able to catch them. I guess I got that one already. It doesn't take too long for the trees to come back. Uh, be, be available again for chopping wood. It's a great game. I haven't played a lot of survival games. Uh, I <laughs> Maybe on my cell phone. Uh, but I, I like games that you can build in. You can create. Uh, you can build your own character kind of after you. This you can't really build your character, but you can you can build a lifestyle, I guess. You can live rough in a small little shack on top of a rock, or you can build a beautiful, I wouldn't say mansion, but a beautiful house on the water. When I played Fallout 4, I was excited about being able to create settlements in your own bases and stuff, but it, it wasn't, I, I didn't like it at all. In fact, I hardly ever did it. I focused more on just running around the world and, and beating the game, which I never did. I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of time for video games. Except when I'm playing with my kids. And that's uh, usually Minecraft. They try to get me into Fortnite. I'm terrible. Rocket League. I'm terrible. All right, focusing good on wood here. It's getting a little darker out. I almost wish there was a uh, an option to build a watch in this game, or some sort of, you know, sundial, little handheld sundial. That'd be cool. I never know what time it is. Whether I should start heading back to... If I heard something. Whether I start heading back to my base or, or not, I, it's you kind of go by when the sun's going down. Sometimes it's hard to tell, though, because it's it'll be rainy or stormy or something. I don't think I've ever started in April. It's nice and warm. Did I start in May? I might have started in May. I think I usually start in April. I used to start in March. Uh, I've probably started this game five times now. I, I used to start in March because uh, that's my birthday. <laughs> I don't know. That's when I started life. So that's when I'm starting life in the game. Uh, let's build a fire pit. Oh, Arms tight. Uh, did we get any 9 mil ammo? Yeah, we found some 9 mil ammo. So let's, let's load that up. Actually, we had some to start with. I should have loaded into my pistol. Okay, we got a 
Do I have to create another fire pit? No. No, we're good. Just distracted. Okay, so we're going to put the match on there. We're going to put some wood in there for fuel. And we're going to ignite it. And I'm going to kill this chicken. And butcher it and cook it. And I, I can uh, purify my water now, too. Let's uh, let's get a wall. I need some more rope. Some more cordage. Out of grubs, we can't make any more, any more uh, tackle. All right, let's get this wall. This wall making. I don't want to forget about the the chicken meat. Meat so precious, protein so precious this time of game. It's precious always, but if you have a fridge full of it, it doesn't matter so much. But um, this early, I do not want to lose this piece of meat. If I go and chop down two trees, I might forget. Well, water purified quickly. There we go. See that? It says, oh, it usually says cooked, but maybe not for chicken. You can just tell by the color. See my, my meat go up there. Once I get my wall, then I'll build a, a ceiling. And then if it rains, it won't put my fire out. Bear right there. Jeez. I think this tree was, oh, and I see a good chest over there, but there's a big bear. Can't uh, can't risk that one, folks. I've already had too many close calls. <laughs> wow, don't remember ever having this stressful of a start. Ooh, I'm getting some lag too. Hopefully, it doesn't look too crazy on uh, on the recording. Fingers crossed, because I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Not that I don't like the restart part, but the the recording part. getting dark but i'm gonna get as much as wood as i as much wood as i can i'll start i'll start uh farming the wood and and uh nails off screen like off off video so that you guys aren't bored to death and then what i'll do is i'll log back on uh whenever i do anything interesting like you know building my base or deciding to go hunt some cougars you need that sinew. Uh, yeah, it's getting pretty dark. I'm going to head back soon. It is hard to see at night. Uh, there's a little trick to seeing the, the bigger, the larger animals at work, the predators, or at work, at night. They uh, they like to dig. Maybe it's just the bears that dig. I'm not sure, but they, little puffs of clouds of smoke uh, puff up around them. So you'll be walking around at night like this, and you'll see little puffs of smoke. that over there uh, scrap metal uh oh no it's not it's, i told you you'll, you'll see these lock chests all the time until you have a key and then you never find them at least that's my experience maybe some of this game relies on luck there's bears everywhere and, and they're just they're just not quite far enough apart for me to to navigate around i have to run close enough where did I put my base? Uh, okay. They're just a little... Oh, here's a berry. We're going to grab that real quick. You said you need those berries. Later in the game... Um, not later, but after a few days, I'll actually stop eating the berries um, because I'll, I'll kind of eat more... It depends on what I'm trying to do. So I like to use the berries for, say, jam later on uh, to make berry water you'll find balls of water and you can mix them with uh, the blueberries and make berry water look at that look at that wolf is that a bear that's a bear if there's a wolf I could run right past and hop onto my platform and the wolf wouldn't bother me okay let's build this wall and we'll build a roof I like the, my planks to go the same same direction as my floor. I like symmetry. There we go. Now we're protected. So now we're going to fish. What do we got? Two tackle. 
So fishing um, can be a bit of a trick to it. You, you have to pay attention. So I might quiet down my talk here because I want to be able to hear the plunk. You'll see the you'll see little rings. You can't get too excited and and try to set the hook because it'll snap your line. So you have to wait till you hear the plunk, and you can actually see it go under. But my my graphic settings are a little too low right now. So I'm just gonna listen. It's scary when you have, you only have, uh, you have no food and only two, two tackle. I'm a little impatient, so I'll wait. Uh, I've waited a little longer than normal this time because I'm talking, but I'll wait 15, 20 seconds and reel it in a little bit. Come on, bite. You can reel it in all the way and recast, but... You know what? Some some days, some nights, I'll, I'll be catching fish after fish after fish. Uh, if I have enough tackle, of course. But when you're recording and you want to show something... Apparently, that's not when it happens. I don't know if deeper water means you catch bigger or more fish. I, I don't know. I, I it seems to never seem to see a difference. You know, sometimes I'm casting out in the biggest lakes in the deepest water, and I'm catching a bunch of little fish. And other times I'm in this lake here, and I'm pulling in a big pike or I don't know if I pulled salmon in from these little lakes actually. Lots of nibbles. I got nowhere to be right now anyway. I can't go out and it's just dark. You look on the bottom right there, you'll see... Oh, my, my Windows... Activate Windows thing. I always forget that I haven't done that. I should do that today. All right, let's send this back out again. I didn't go quite as far this time. Interesting. Somebody will, will bite. I'll just be patient. So you got to be careful. If uh, if you react, like I said, you react too soon, and you try to set the hook, your line breaks. You lose your tackle. And if you reel in when they bite, I think your line breaks too. I can't, I can't test it out. Excuse me, I can't test it out right now with not having any more tackle. This is wild, though. have to say this is the worst fishing I've ever had in this game. This is more like how I fish in real life. <laughs> Come on, bite. I've built a base at this at this lake before. It was okay. The views aren't great down here, that's all. Farming's farming's great. Fishing was good, but the view was just bleh. And why play a game that that's this pretty when you can't enjoy it? Sorry about the nothing happening here, guys. It's wild. Usually when I fish, I'm, I'll, I'll be half paying attention. But uh, I'm focused here. I only have two, two tackles, so 
can't afford to lose anything here. There we go. Wow. Wow. Watch it be a little guy. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. What a waste of time. Not that it's not helpful, but... I can't believe how long that took. Okay, let's try one more time here. <laughs> we have one more piece of tackle. It's got to be quicker. I'm not sure what was going on there. Come on, bite. When I build my main base, I'll do it. I'll do it on a body of water, but I'll do it on a bigger, bigger lake. I prefer those views. Whoa, she got real dark there. You can move around quite a bit. Just want to make sure I have enough wood in my fire. Once you get your base going, you can build a better fireplace that stays lit all day long, basically. Um, this this little fire pit, though, it will it won't won't stay lit. It'll go out. You'll run out of fuel. It doesn't hold enough wood. This is crazy. Okay. Don't let this video turn you off setting up at this lake. It's actually a really good lake. I've never had this much uh, trouble fishing here. Oh, please be a bigger guy. Daddy needs some meat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now we're cooking with fire. We'll fillet fish. So before we go out in the morning, which is basically morning now, we're going to top up our water. We're going to eat some food. Uh, eat. Uh, we're going to refill our... Oops. <laughs> My bad. We're going to refill our canteen here. And purify it, of course. And what I might do, I'll build a little bit more cordage, is I'm going to build a chest so that uh, we can store some of this stuff, some of the stuff we don't need while we're out. Hey, you see on the top right there, it says cooked. That's what I thought the chicken said, but guess not. Uh, we're going to build a chest to put in some of our this oh man this this meat's not even going to give me enough to to get through the day so we'll build the chest and then we'll fill it with the stuff we don't need for today and then we'll go out and farm we'll do it all over again and while i'm out farming today i'm going to start heading over to some locations that i think i might want to build um might be a little boring I'll try not to be boring I have to purify that. Okay, so we'll put the chest there. And stuff we don't need. Feathers. I don't think I need ammo. Um, we, I don't need onions. You use them in cooking and stuff, I guess. Um, don't need fuel. We don't need fire starter. Well, we will when we come back. Pearls. Yeah, and I'll put the nails down. You don't want to die with all with your inventory full because when you die, uh, you lose some stuff from your inventory. And that's very frustrating, especially if you just killed a cougar and you got some sinew or something, and you lose some of that. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll extinguish this fire, because it's, I don't want to waste the fuel that's in there, and I'm going to have to relight it anyway. And I'm going to run out for the day. So what I'll do is I'll stop this video, and I'll start it at day two. Thanks for watching, and hopefully the recording uh, wasn't too bad. <laughs> you guys aren't all dizzy. Uh, thanks. And hopefully you watch the next one.